It took volunteers from the Royal Air Force in Shawbury 13 years to build a real-size replica of a Horsa assault glider. It took another five years to find a place for this enormous glider in the Netherlands. Wednesday, June 20th, the Horsa arrived in the Netherlands. Before it will go to its final destiny, the Overloan Museum, it will be on display in Oosterbeek in front of the Airborne Museum, next to War Monument the Needle, for the 75th commemorations in September this year. At Airbase Soesterberg, the parts will be cleaned and restored if necessary and will be brought to Oosterbeek at the beginning of September. It will be reassembled undercover and stay on display from the Airborne March till after the commemorations. About 600 gliders landed in three September days of 1944 near Arnhem. After the last Battle of Arnhem, the Germans destroyed all the gliders left on the landing fields. Therefore, there wasn't much left of this a very important element of the Second World War, the enormous part these horses had in Operation Market Garden. Not only did they brought most allies, all the material also arrived by Horsa. Thank you all for tuning out to see our little old water from England. Uh, volunteers of the Assault Glider Trust formed in 2001 and we're going to spend six months building a horse glider for posterity. Spent 13 years doing it. Uh, and then we couldn't find anywhere to display it. Uh, it was too big, too complicated, and too fragile for most museums to accept. So when Richard turned up with his ideas, which we felt were a bit fantastic, and we didn't really think they were going to work, we were quite surprised when they all have turned out to be practical. We're also very indebted to Eric, the old museum, to accept the glider for display in the most prominent museum in Holland, in the right place for the Horsa, next to the Batfields, where it became famous. Um, and all I can say is on behalf of the volunteers, hopefully they will be able to see this on display by the end of this year, when they visit Holland, and for the future uh, generations of youngsters to actually see what a water glider looked like. Nobody's been able to see that for 70 years. Um, I'm just very grateful to the Dutch people for accepting it into their displays. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ten months ago I came up with a crazy idea of uh, building that was one of those it was too big, too heavy, too, shit took too long. I found out it was one of them, the original one in England, to be nine months, eight months to convince you did, yes. to, uh, to let it go. Yeah. All the emails I got was you have to happy to read it and let you that big, yeah. and you write down every time big, capital letters. <laughs> but I'm grateful, the story is incredible. Uh, we have a big, massive display in uh, Oosterbeek in September, and it gets an amazing spot on the, on the York Museum, and I'm quite amazed that everything works quite out, quite well out. And the, the support I'm getting, and yeah, just overwhelmed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.